Okay, people, intro here, 3v3, Catherine Purification Plant, Blue Team. Panzer Battalion is a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins. With a refractor shield can shoot his own fellas in head, namely these guys. Alongside, Shoris is a Lord General, fighting in ranged combat begins. With a retinue of stormtroopers, really strong defense and support can also add to the retinue. Rounded off the team here, Broodwitch as a Demon Hunter. A melee spellcaster, a strong support and control. Red team, Stigma rocks a plague champion, starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair. Alongside, Lockyo's war boss, a melee hero, walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. Can't even close his mouth, he's so angry. And rounding off the teams, Mustafa with the Hive Tyrant, a durable hero, Walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense. Disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Felipe. Looks like Felipe is on the east side against those pesky Imperial Guard and a brave Lord Commissar in the mid. Warboss stomping through towards the Lord General. There's some sluggers. There's a Sentinel. Sentinel gets the ground pound upgrade there. We do have double shooters for Lockyo. Where are the other fellas? Oh, they're capping. Sluggers in on the Lord General. They've already killed both Derek and Nigel are dead. How dare you? Warboss chasing off the Guardsman. Sentinel gets a really good stomp. Can they kill a Slugger or two? And they killed one. Maybe another. Warboss legs it. Shooter boys get big shooters on the west side. Plague Champion and some Heretics and some Chaos Space Marines. Giving it to that Demon Hunter who runs away. And lives. Yes, lives. And there's more heretics there capping the VP. Sentinel getting repairs. Triple Termigants for Mustafa. They really want that Sentinel down, eh? There's the natural power for Panzer Battalion getting pushed by Mustafa. We have Toxin Sacks here. We might get triple Toxin Sacks, which would be great for controlling and frustrating this Lord Commissar. West side. Gonna turn blue, it looks like. Plague Champion runs with his heretics and Chaos Space Marine buddies. Havocs on the way. Broodwitch, by the way, with double stormtroopers. Broodwitch's Demon Hunter just coming out of base on that west side. No effort to push through onto the VP this early on, I suppose. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to bash that in time though, because here come a bunch of orcs. Blue team do take the west side. It took them a while though, eh? Because that was uncapped. There they have it now. East side, contested power is red for Felipe and his Tyranid buddies. We do have triple toxin sacks on those termagants. We'll see if the Lord Commissar can ever get into melee. Heavy weapon squad coming up, which may... Oh, I was going to say it may mean Extended Carapace comes in, but we have the Improved Synapse up over there for Mustafa. Buffing all those Termigants, of course. The Rift Tear opened up by the Demon Hunter, one of his starting abilities that slows down all squads caught in it. In that case, it was the Heretics. The strike Squad getting in there. What are they up to? Are they melleeing stuff or what? They're just leading things on a merry dance and may pay for it with a model loss. Nope, they got away. Perfectly planned by Broodwitch, maybe. Good special attack there. But then runs. It's too dangerous to stay in. Meanwhile, Sentinel falls in the northeast corner. The triple termigant's getting it done. While Felipe takes all the damage with that improved synapse. What's going on? Hormagaunt's here living and... Oh, they don't have Adrenal Glanzo. Warbus runs through the mid over a bunch of dead shooter boys. Lord General gets the medical sergeant up, has some catechins, so he can give those guys a medical pack. Derek and Nigel are back with us, and the Sentinel's okay. Need some repairs, and there's the repairs. Where's the other guards when they're coming out of base? East side, trying to defend the contested power. The guy's going to set up or what? They are indeed. Former guards need to take the left side, and they didn't. They got caught. That could have been a really good fight for Mustafa if they just went the, the left of those barrels there. West side turning blue again. Sentinel is repaired. 
Lord General now has the medical fella. Eric and Nigel's aim is true. Some noble worship for the Hell 3 Gen. Double the Stormtroopers, Inquisitorial Stormtroopers do have their sergeants and their impact grenade strike squad dropping a model though. Where is the Demon Hunter? Oh, busy capping that wreck point. Contested wreck points. They're kind of slightly natural. Storm Boys on the field for Lockyo. Fun times will be had. Just jump them in and throw user choppers or just get really angry. Goes charging through. Creating some space, drawing fire, stomping around. Sluggers and Storm Boys chasing in. Good special attack there. Oh, now the fake champion's getting involved in the melee. He's got a fake sword. Created a zombie catechon devil there. Do you still get the shotgun blast with the zombie catechon devil? They also have fetid armor. There's a storm boy jump. What was that? Oh, that was the energy burst messing them up. That's a nice tool to have against storm boys. Slows them down, makes them harder for them to jump away because they burn a bunch of energy off. One to one cat. Good pressure from the red team up this west side. Mirrored earlier on by Mustafa getting the sentinel kill and putting pressure on the power. At the moment, they are held at midpoint. Bioplasma in for Mustafa. Where's that Lord Commissar? Oh, he's right there. Throws his shield up, doesn't have any war gear yet. That heavy weapon squad is very low on hit points. But yeah, they need to run. There's that crippling poison, they were a bit too close though. Still getting smacked around by the Lord Commissar. There's tier two for Mustafa. Stigma just started it. All of the blue team going tier 2 as well. Lokyo will be the last player there. They bought a bunch of war gear. They got burners. They got shooters. Uh, big shooters and knob leaders and the storm boys. They spent quite a chunk of power in tier 1. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Especially in a 3v3 where you can rely on your allies maybe to get quick anti-vehicle up if there's a quick vehicle. Double cap for the red team. Zone throw on the way. First tier 2 unit we're going to see. And they bash. They may get disrupted by the Catechons. They didn't want to risk it. Hive Tyrant didn't get the decap there either. But decent mid-map authority here for the Red Team. They have both of those West contested wreck points. And that can make a massive difference. That extra wreck income. Demon Hunter with the Hunter's Blade. More energy. Absorbs energy per strike. He can be very energy intensive, this fella. What's he up to now, though? There we go. Here. Power melee DPS and armor of fortitude. More health, more health regen, and indomitable. Up to 987 hit points level 2. That's not bad, eh? Okay, champion comes to say hello. With the melee resistance ignoring power melee plague sword. Vindicar assassin on the field now. Did you guys chuck your grenades already? I think they did. They are missing energy. I probably missed it. Vindicare can switch between ammo to combat all targets. Long range sniper unit. Big burst damage, of course. Those guys run away. I wonder if we'll see... No, I was going to say maybe we'll see raptors to try and jump that guy or bloodletters. But we're seeing plague marines from Stigma. Plague marines are the solid safe choice for a Chaos Tier 2. Former Gaunts going for some power. 377 to 407. They're munching it. They don't have adrenal glands though, so it's going to be a slower bash. Can they even all get around? Oh, they can. They can all attack the, the generator at once. That's pretty good. Demon Hunter now gets the Tome of Tranquility. I am Beset. Who's saying that? Lord Commissar, isn't it? There's that zone throat. Artillery unit for the Tyranids. Doesn't do friendly fire but has limit, limited range and damage compared to the other tier 2 artillery things. Setup teams mainly I'm talking about. And doesn't need to set up of course. It just floats around doing its thing. Providing hell 3 gen synapse for these guys. Good fight there for Mustafa. I'm not sure if that was the first time Panzer Battalion saw the zone throat. Hive Tyrant just casually Tapping over there, Felipe. Oh, they got rid of the uh, heavy weapon squad. Didn't take much damage. Stealing the power they didn't even pay for. And can now push on to this power again. Meanwhile, west side. Fetid armor suppresses the Vindicare assassin 
And Icon of Nurgle is up. Still level 1 this fella, but he should level up quite nicely now. With the Icon of Nurgle damaging everything around him. Demon Hunter. Again, did a weird thing of like running around a unit. And then going back to attack it. Maybe they tried to go after these Plague Marines first. Oh, did they switch? They switched to the Force Glaive. With Inferno. And way more power melee damage. Can they survive? There's some Nurgle worship now. Help heal up that Plague Champion through the mid. Power Claw Warboss going after a Chimera. Level 2, this fella. Ogrins on the field now for Panzer Battalion. They could be a big threat to Felipe. Go straight after him here. Yeah, Hive Tyrant backs the hell out of that fight. Bonehead leader on the way. Level 2, this fella. And they deceptively quick the, the Ogrins, especially when they pop the um, user red like they're doing now. Knocking stuff over, they could maybe threaten that zone throw. Oh, there's two zone throws. Going after the Venom Brood for the Synapse Backlash on death. They killed one back there. Big difference those guys made. Now that Mustafa is aware that there's Ogrins around, they can position and use their Termigants more effectively to limit their movement. There's the second Crippling Poison here. That was very effective. Very effective. But if they can push alongside the Ogrins with the Catechins disrupting things and the Lord Commissar there, the Ogrins may have better success getting through the triple termigants. Might see some rending talons perhaps for the Hive Tyrant to disrupt them. What is this? That's a very sneaky Vindicare Assassin. Getting shots on the Shooter Boys, taking out another model. Bomber Boys on the Chimera, that was weird. It doesn't do very good anti-vehicle damage, I don't think. War boss, almost level 3, looking for a fight. Got the Cyborg implants in. 323, 373, pretty close on the VPs, eh? There's tier 3 for Mostafa. Shoris already there and calls in a Lehman Russ. How's Derek and Nigel doing, though? They are okay. Level 2, Lord General. There's that Rift tear. Chosen Plague Marines and the Plague Champion looking for some melee. A whole bunch of orcs as well. Just a big rampage from the red team. Can they hold out? They do have that Chimera support. Plague Marines get a shot though. What is a Demon Hunter doing? He's standing still there for a second. Um, I bet he was doing something cool. I don't know though. Oh, did he put Indomitable on himself? Maybe. Maybe. Must have been. Down goes a Chimera. So much for the Chimera support. I feel like they're pretty rare these days in a 3v3 actually. Used to be immediately immediately get a Chimera when you go tier 2. For Imperial Guard for a little while there. Gets through onto the power. Does Panzer Battalion taking out a... Oh, not, not quite on the power. Just took down a Capillary Tower. Doesn't seem like they want to try and push it. Heavy weapon squad here, taking shots. Outranged by the zone throats. Meanwhile, pushing power, decapping it. Grey Knight Dreadnought is out. Lehman Russ is here. Plague Marines have to leave. Chosen Plague Marines. These are the melee guys that are unique to the Plague Champion. Look at that awesome portrait they have. Was that Kill Gone? I think Kill Gone made that one. Some really cool custom portraits they have in Elite Mod. Plague Champion gets shot to death. Play chosen Plague Marines are alright. The other Plague Marines also alright. Stigma goes tier 3. Lock goes tier 3 with a looted tank on the way. Blue team. I mean, Broodwitch has spent a chunk of power on this Dreadnought. Looks like it's in its default state at the moment. That, that incinerator flamer thing. And a big old blade. Map looking quite red now, right now. They even stole this wreck point in the northwest corner. Havocs have to flee. Because the Vindicare Assassin obviously outranges it. Heavy bolter that is. Lord General getting a couple of stormtroopers. East side crushing claws. Hive Tyrant now. 
massive threat in melee. And Ogrins, of course, can't knock the Hive Tyrant over with use your red. So they might need to use their red and come up with a different plan. Would you fight that Hive Tyrant? Level 2, when your Ogrins are only level 1, maybe with... Oh, they do have Aura of Discipline. I would think I'd send them in on the Hive Tyrant. Assuming the rest of your army can help focus them down. Lord Commissar, what are you up to, buddy? You're all alone. Yeah, they, they lost sight of their Lord Commissar, I think, there. While well, those guys were dealing with stuff back. It's a good bioplasma. Yeah, I think it's worth I think it's actually worth focusing that hive tyrant. Only level two. And he can deliver huge, there we go, can deliver huge amounts of damage to him. And you get that Synapse Backlash, and you get rid of that huge damage threat as well. And when you have, oh, well, here's a fun effect, that might change things. When you have the Aura of Discipline Healing as well, which they didn't have there, as the Lord Commissar fell over. Level 1 Carn effects, no upgrade on it yet, but it's still a big old beastie. West side is blue. Lord General is down, which of course importantly means that Derek and Nigel are down. So Mark of Zinchkel Space Marines. Central power red. Blue team's starting to get some of that map back, map back though, eh? Haven't had this yet. Oh, they're losing that. What level are you? Still level one. They killed one of those fellas though, I think. Hadachin's in a bad spot. Grenade does a good job, but anything to help him out. Demon Hunter, maybe. Vindicare's still in play too. There's the Indomitable using it to face tank the Heavy Bolter. Nicely done. There's Inferno. Good range on that. Chosen Plague Range showing up now. They'll do a lot of damage to the Demon Hunter. Since it's a single entity, all of those Plague Knives will stack their damage over time on him. It's going to be nasty. I assume there's a maximum stack, but it might just be... It might just be infinite, and then they have a limited duration, obviously. Indomitable again, used to escape, maybe? Yes, well played, Broodwitch. Strike Squad, level 2. Getting knocked over by the exploding Chosen Plague Champions, but are able to get rid of them. With their just a car, there's a whole bunch of Tyranids and Orcs showing up in the middle there. Not something you want to hear as some Imperial fellas. Land Red of Phobos on the field also for Stigma. Where's the fake champion though? Looks like he chased some stuff through and fell over. Move the tank getting repairs. Are you getting a last cannon? Nope. You're leaving. Double Lehman Rust though for Shoris. One of them with a Vanquisher. Very good at fighting enemy large targets such as the Carnifex and that looted tank. And the friendly war boss gets a revive, level 5. Plague champion runs away, level 3. Really wish this guy had more innate health regen. I mean, I know they have Nurgle worship available, but still. The bloody plague champion. 270 to 256, 2 to 1 cap. For red team, very close on them BPs. Bortum and Razor back on the way. For Broodwitch, we now have a Bulgrin squad. Upgraded Ogrins here. With more melee DPS, more health, defensive abilities. They do lose the disruption though of the Ogrin, which is awesome. But they can suppress with use your shield over a large radius too. The Pittery Tower popped up to give some speed bonuses. Are you gonna attack Felipe? There he goes. Red team holding the west side. Lambert of Phobos is here. And it is a demon. It's like possessed by crazy stuff. So that Nurgle worship really helping it out. And there's some Nurgle's rock from the Trojan Plague Marines creating zombies. Rift tear. Trojan Plague Marines run. And those guys passively damage nearby enemies as well. A really fun unit, Chosen Plague Marines. Awesome, unique add for the Plague Champion. 
Last cannon says hello. Big hit on that Carnifex, slowing it down too. And there's the Bulgrins. And they will mess up that Carnifex. Had they get to it. Do they need to get to it? Lehman Russ is getting it done. And the last cannon over there too. Big stomp from the war boss. Very useful to have against those Bulgrins. But then he gets smacked around. Look at that. Lord Commissar poking him too. Still has that aura of discipline. Needs to stay near the Bulgrins though. Carapace armor also. Bulgrins tanking a bunch of damage. They have to leave 200 for 256. Attack turns with disruption. Oh, rocket run. That was really well timed actually. Can they wipe those fellas? They wiped one of them. Slugger's got wiped. Got some more commandos on the way for Lockgo. He's got more orc boys where those fellas came from. How you doing, Lord General? Reinforcing. Uh, I think it's Nigel being reinforced there. The Plague Marines have to run. Come on, fellas. They're alright. They are alright. Big old Tyranids showing up. Double zone throats moving in. Give some health regen to the carn effects. Do they have the symbiosis? No. Carn effects is done for, I think, yeah. Should they even get another one? Because that's double vanquisher and las cannons and things. They might be better off getting venom broobs. Venom broods. Maybe even switching this guy to a venom cannon. Level 2 Vindicare Assassin using turbo penetrator rounds to damage that looted tank. And takes it down. There we go. There's some assassin play level 3. That fella just popped. Demon Hunter uses Indomitable to get away. Warboss gets very angry at this and just charges into thin air. Just pissed. Aiming for the purgation, I guess, with Conversion Beamer. They're now going to get some help. Warboss is going to go down in a really bad place to go down. Can't get revived very easily for their Orc stuff going on now. Love the Dapper from the Commandos setting up a rocks. All the will be okay, but I'm kind of surprised they didn't retreat earlier there. Double Lehman Russ is in trouble. Because those commandos have a rocket launcher. There's Felipe casually decapping. Lord General runs. Looks like the Lehman Russes are okay. Lord General makes it too. West side is red. There's that Vortima Razorback. Fast attack vehicle that can damage all targets. Doesn't want to face down a Phobos though. And Plague Marines are there. And Rocket Launcher Commando. Commandos. And an Imperial Abyss. That mulched a bunch of Stormtroopers, I think. I think it maybe mulched both of the Inquisitorial Stormtroopers. The Vortima makes it out, though, on 18 hit points. Oh, I wonder if Stigma was tempted to just run in or ride into base with the Phobos and finish it off there. We have a Neurothrow. Not really going to help against these... Lehman Russes, but against the, especially the heavy infantry like the Bullgrins, which are super heavy, and the Grey Knight Feathers, it'll be awesome. And it's just good against groups of infantry in general. Knob Squad on the field for Lockyo. They will be super effective against the Lehman Russes if they can get close. They've got to get through the Bullgrins and the Commissar and double Catrichens, though. They're going to try it. They're giving it a go. Blue team are down to 67 VPs. Knob squad runs. Bullgrins fighting Storm Boys here. Oh, with Lord Commissar support. And they run. That was used as shield there, suppressing those Storm Boys. West side turning red. Who's capping? Who's in there? Oh, the Vindicare. Demon Hunter's down, level 6. Virgin Beamer is doing actually doing some good damage to that Phobos. There's a Manticore strike. Couldn't quite get a hit on the Phobos there. Whose Manticore was that? I don't know. 
How could I possibly know? Another Lehman Rush shows up. Blue team down to 44 VPs now. Who's going to win this damage race? Orbital Bombardment coming in. Phobos gets the kill. Here come Bulgrins though. Can they trigger the melee charge? They can. They need help. Excellent jump there from Lokyo. Getting the stun on the Bulgrins. Is it enough though? Where's Crippling Poison? Crippling Poison was not there. Maybe they were out of range. They seem to be getting shots. Or maybe it was on cooldown. I'm not sure. You can never tell which model is going to actually fire the crippling poison. Whatever model it was may have been too far away kind of thing. Double of autumn is here for Blue Witch, but they are very low on VPs, the blue team. They've got double of autumn's, double Lehman Russes, Bulgrins. Blue team do have a lot of cool stuff. That Vindicare has been awesome too. Rocket run as well. Pretty effective at keeping them back. Now the red team, yeah, they need to be a little bit patient and kind of regroup and go together here. Might be worth Stigma and Lokyo pressuring this side, but not overextending while Mustafa pushes the mid. It's a delicate balance though, because I mean, Panzer Battalion could push the mid with these Bulgrins and do pretty well. Looks like they're ready for it. They've got improvised explosives here. A turret up. Patachins. Plasma guns in the hands of the guardsmen. Here's a push here from Stigma. They seem to be all alone though. 32 to 231. Plague Marines run. Chosen Plague Marines run. Yeah, I think it would have been better to wait. Let's go mid top, says Lokyo. I assume they mean this, which is north. We'll have a lot of Bulgrins now. Level 2, they've been awesome. 26, 40 hit points on those guys. Commandos can try and just sneak around. But then they'd have all that to deal with still. Oh, there's only one Catagen back there now. I think. Not sure where the other fellas are. Dunn Shall Fall is up. I feel like they used it a little bit early, maybe. It doesn't do anything else, does it? I think all it does is prevent you from dying, so maybe it's better to use once your stuff gets low. Bulgrins against a knob squad, supported by a war boss. War boss is getting pretty low, but they're able to deal with the Bulgrins with some darker support. Plasma Guardsmen there were shooting. Level 3 Plasma Guardsmen as well. They were doing some good damage to the Knob Squad. 32 to 185. Blue team clinging to the... Um... Oh! Mustafa got nuked by Stigma. Did they? That is pretty chaotic. Some disagreements on the red team. They're getting frustrated that they can't push through here. Well, at least Stigma is. And apparently they've given up. Mustafa's not happy. I mean, understandably, where was the nuke, though? Oh, here, look. Yeah, look. I mean, it was in base. It wouldn't even have done that much. I assume what happened is Stigma saw what was over here and wanted to concede, and, and nobody else wanted to concede. And they got frustrated and that was their way of, you know, conceding or quitting or whatever. Not really cool. Maybe Stigma has a rep reputation for nuking allies. I'm not sure if they dropped and now this is the AI getting the Phobos. Blue team were going to be a really tough nut to crack. But it would have been fun to see red team have a go. Yeah, I think because... I think because Stigma's dropped, they now cannot concede if they wanted to. Blue team's casually bashing power. And that's going to be a disappointing end to the game. 
blue team clawing their way back. Oh, there we go. They're able to concede in the end. Or they just all left or something. The Lehman Russes were big. Two level four Lehman Russes they had here. Double Vortum is doing some good work. We don't get to see these guys do good work that often. The Bulgrins were awesome. The Commissar was awesome. Stigma was level four. Commissar level four. Lord General level seven. Lokyo level five. Brood Witches, Demon Hunter level eight. Some good, really good use of Indomitable. And that Hive Tyrant, Felipe, level four, with that uh, friendly, chaotic nuke on his base. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.